31 days of Halloween, where I post a new Halloween costume makeup tutorial every day in October. This is my first 31 days of Halloween, so be sure to subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out on any awesome videos and leave any requests in the comments below. Today is this super creepy, disgusting killer clown, so let's get into the tutorial. I first started off by applying a bald cap. This one looks super janky because it was previously used on another tutorial for 31 days of Halloween that will be coming out very soon. It doesn't really matter if the bald cap has tears and doesn't have cleanly blended edges because this is a sloppy, haphazard clown with super textured skin and overworn makeup. To apply the bald cap, I just patted Prosade adhesive onto my forehead, waited it for it to turn clear and dry, and then pressed the edges of the bald cap into the adhesive and trimmed off any of the excess bald cap. I started by covering my eyebrows with Vaseline to make sure that any adhesive doesn't stick to them. Here you can see me removing latex and cotton because I tried building furrowed brows with it but it just ended up looking super sloppy and chunky. I then decided to use Model Magic. Model Magic is a Play-Doh like substance that has more of a foamy texture and dries super soft and pliable. I shaped it into the furrowed brow on my face and adhered it with Prosade adhesive. You don't have to use Prosade, you can use spirit gum or latex as an adhesive but I just find that Prosade has the best hold. Then using a slip latex, which is just a regular liquid latex with clay slip added to it to thicken it. You don't need to use this, you can use regular latex. I drew on a creepy upturned smile in the shape of a traditional clown mouth. I then used a tongue depressor and more slip latex to cover the edges of my model magic and add a thick modeled texture to my skin. And then I just grabbed a hair dryer to speed up the latex drying process. I purchased a basic red foam clown nose from Amazon and started to tear tiny chunks out of it to make it look more worn in. Then using any white cream paint, pat it all over your skin and blend it messily into any area of the face that we won't be darkening later. For this I'm using Makeup Forever's Flash Stick in white. I purchased a blood stack from iMats earlier this year that has come in incredibly handy during this Halloween season. It has all the different types of blood needed for any special effects makeup look, from super runny and bright red to old, aged, and coagulated. I took multiple types of the blood and filled in the mouth area with it. I also patted the blood into the foam nose. Then taking a blue cream paint or eyeshadow, right here I'm using the Makeup Forever Flash Palette, I drew on the traditional vertical clown shape down the eyes and darkened in the hollows under the furrowed brow with a dark blue eyeshadow. I got this traditional clown wig from Amazon and placed it further back on my head to show the balding front. I then patted on some Prosade adhesive in the front spot of my forehead where I wanted the hair patch to be. I then cut a piece of hair from the back of the wig for my cul-de-sac balding clown look. I wanted an even more worn in appearance so I took both black water activated paint and the runny blood from my blood stack and sprayed it all over my face with a brush. With my Ofra eyeshadow palette, I reddened my eyes with a deep red shadow and then finished my neck with the same colors as my face. I then patted the white cream paint onto my nose and brought more blood all over my face, into my hair, and onto my outfit to tie the whole look together. I then popped on my nose, my teeth, and my contact lenses. For these teeth, I made a pair of teeth last year for the 30 days of night vampire look, which I will link at the end of this video if you want to see a short tutorial on how to make your own custom pointy teeth, but I'm basically just using a polymorph plastic and molding them into the shape of my teeth. The lenses I'm wearing are one of the bloodshot lenses and one of the white out lenses from CamoEyes.com. 
And that's it. I hope you love this creepy killer clown look. Make sure to tune in tomorrow and every other day this October for more creepy, beautiful, and strange Halloween costume makeup looks. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified when the videos go live, which should be around 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you at my next video. You're real good at that. Stuck to the window. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah, so stupid. No? I mean, if they are, they're gonna be really, really freaked out by you. But uh, it'd be creepy if you had like a helium balloon to hold. Oh. You don't need it. Yeah, that's the same. What the hell? Get the shit out of me. Really? I don't know what the hell just happened. I'll come outside. No. It's fine. Are you gonna like walk towards the camera? Well, I was. I think we're good. This is quality content right here. Fat dickhead. Hey guys, welcome back to 31 Days of Halloween. If you're new to my channel, 31 Days of Halloween is where I post a new Halloween costume makeup tutorial every day in October. Be sure to subscribe to make sure that you don't miss out on any videos. This video is a collab with the one and only Jordan Huns. She is an incredible body painter who also happens to be one of my best friends. Over on her YouTube channel, she's doing Hanzaween, which is 31 Days of Halloween makeup tutorials all throughout the month of October. Definitely go check her out if you haven't and subscribe to her YouTube channel. For this video, we decided to do Pop Art Demons. To see how I created my version, keep on watching. <laughs> 